Good morning and welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Ah, let's take a nice clearing breath and settle into our space. And once we settle into a space, we actually make it a place. So welcome to this place. Blissby.me, Integrative Holistic Health. My name is Deborah O'Neill. And as you can possibly tell by the name of my company, Blissby.me, I vow to live bliss, teach bliss, and be bliss. Part of that is the living bliss is about the education. My education, your education, and how we can grow together with, with that education. Teach bliss is the embodiment. That's where I bring in my urban immersions, my global retreats, my in-person treatments, and help to create that sacred practice for each of us. And knowing that we have a right to exist within that sacred practice. We have lots of different rights. We have the right to exist. We went through that in the first two weeks, creating that container, that safety, that groundedness with the earth, that presence, creating that awareness. And we have our right to our needs. We talked about needs as we're stepping into the emotional part of the body. It gets a little watery, not just in the water section of the body. Sometimes it gets a little watery up here. It can get a little mucusy in here. But we're safe and we're aware. So we talked a little bit more about the emotions and being aware of the emotions and going from a place of witness. And I don't want to jump through that too quickly. Good morning, Marilyn. Thank you for being here. I want to repeat it. I want to go through it again today. And we're going to revisit it again and again because we want to always remind ourselves of where we are in our present, present moment. Sometimes we're back in the past. Sometimes we're in the future. We want to bring ourselves into our present moment. That's where we want to live. We want to live in the present moment with a good, deep, diaphragmatic breath. And we want to create that a witness awareness of where we are, how we're reacting, and what we really want. What's most important to us? What would love do here? It's a great question. And create those questions. Create a question that, you know, am I coming from my higher place? Am I coming from my higher mind? When I took my studies, the way that they termed it was there's a lower vital and a higher vital. We can just drop the vital. We can say there's a lower portion of our mind and a higher portion of our mind. We have our present consciousness, which is uh, seen to be 5% of our consciousness. We have our subconsciousness, which is playing in the background a lot quicker. It's got a lot of quick, it's got a way quicker server than the conscious mind. Uh, that is 95% of our consciousness, which has been all our accumulations of our thoughts and experiences throughout this lifetime. And, and, and we can say, and we can prove scientifically past lifetimes. It comes back to that, that um, ex scientific experiment with the, that they did with those unfortunate rats uh, where they would uh, have a trigger if they ate out of a red bowl or something. And, and then through the generations of those rats, there was an affinity to uh, danger with that, um, that, that environment that was created uh, previous generations before them. So um, we're no different. Oh, good morning, Diane. Absolute pleasure. Glad you're here. Thank you. I'm talking about the emotional part of the body. So uh, yesterday we talked about um, sort of the, the, the scale of, of uh, emotional uh, fear and grief and, and uh, depression and victimization and powerlessness being on what's termed in this, this piece uh, of study um, to be the, the, in this scenario, uh, the lowest or the, on the most mm, deficient, I guess we'll use the word deficient. In the, um, in the, when we're referring to the two vortexes that we talked about yesterday. And it's important that I show you this little scribble that I, sh uh, that I have for my clients 
It will become a public piece as soon as I can actually get it into some graphic designer and get it designed. So we've got the, um, the lower vibration of the involution which is often, you know, we talk about uh, somebody being hyper. Well, that is true. Hyper is a contraction of within the body. But we don't really talk about the hypo. And the hypo is where we want to be. So let's, so we've got the hyper contracting sympathetic, fight, flight, freeze, nervous system. It's a hypersensitivity. It's often um, observed in a fast breath, often in self-destruction, self-sabotaging. Um, and there's also that lower vital trickster that plays in there. It's the one that says, ah, you know, somebody that's working through addiction. Uh, you know, you haven't had a drink in a month, three months, six months. You haven't had a drink in three years. It's nice to have, you deserve that glass of champagne or that beer or that glass of whiskey or whatever. Mm, no, that's the lower vital. That's the trickster. So um, that is that one that you can often um, uh, see yourself leaning into it you know it's you're almost like leaning it's like or it's someone's head or um the body really is an indicator our body is a great indicator of um where we're at and it's just a matter of taking a stand and going do i really do i really want to venture into that do you know is that really my truth is that really what's important to me so that's the the involution so and it's, it's here, it's, it's, I can't even imagine that you would ever not experience uh, any, if there was an, a person on this world that would not experience involution. You know, even, um, you know, I think of monks and people that have uh, been in um, isolation and seclusion because that's their choice and they're going to that higher knowingness. I would still think that there may be some thought forms that come in and uh, offer up that test that test of stability where we are within ourselves. And thought forms are in our field. That's where they're housed. They're not just housed in this little piece right here. They're housed in our field and in the mass of the consciousness. So this is a lot to take in. So just relax because you know what? If we're going to be here for 15 minutes a, a day for as long as I can, and I had, a, I had a nightmare actually last night that I missed I missed my 8.45 call and I was devastated. So there you go, there's my commitment. Um, I was really, I was like, when I woke up, I was like, oh, oh, what time is it? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh it's you know, 5.45 in the morning. <laughs> so I got up because I wasn't going to miss my 8.45 call. So there's our involution and there's lots to it. I'm giving you just the surface level, same with I do with my clients, just the surface level. And as we work through this, we'll bring in, like I said, the different layers of the field because at each layer of the field, we revisit all this again. And it's like, yay, I'm at a new level. So we keep the smile on our face. We keep the movement and the action moving forward with our heart and our feet and whatever that is with, with sharing and inviting people into our lives to, to this greater meaning of, um, of taking ownership for our cellular health, our, right self, our nervous system health, and know that this is a self-healing process. And um, I'm happy to be here and share it with you. So well, let's get to the other side. So this is our higher vibration, sort of the into the, into the light, if you would, if, if you don't, you know, for lack of a, a better term. Um, well, I think it is actually the best term. So this is our sort of our higher vital. And I'm going to quit saying sort of because it is our higher vital. And it's our hypo expansiveness, that, that deep diaphragmatic breath that we're breathing into our lower diaphragm. There's a reason why that's the biggest muscle in our body because we are supposed to use it. So, and then we're going to name them. And once we name something, whether it's a hypersensitivity or fast breath or uh, self-sabotage, we name it because once we observe it, it shifts. And we, and that's where our action comes in, is in that shift. So we name it. So we've, we've talked about um, our four-pointed breath, our big yogic complete breath. And we've, we've walked through it. We've brought in the mantra to, tr to bring in uh, that concentration to allow the chaos in the mind to subside by having an alternate thought. And it's counting the one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one or the inhale on the so 
and the exhale on the hum. So we've done the four pointed breath. We've introduced the regulating. We've introduced the external strengths and, and the internal weaknesses, respecting our internal weaknesses and playing into our strengths. Uh, and that, that goes into a lot deeper meaning too. We've talked about um, different resourcing, the, 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 um, the regulating with the hands and the feet and the butterfly. We've talked, we've spent a lot of time on grounding, centering, aligning, and we're gonna do it every day. Um, grounding into Mother Earth and calling in the electrical and magnetic forces that work with our water body as an organism. Good morning, Lucienne and Jeff. Thank you for being here. Uh, so this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg. It's, it's um, and you know, the iceberg is mostly fully submerged in the water. So we're going into that water zone. And um, these are the primary sources of uh, your toolkit that you have right now that will work with us as we go into the emotional area. So um, on top of this, when I talk about the whole person being, and I talk about what we do with uh, uh, blissb.me integrative holistic health, the integrative is the physical, the uh, mental, the emotional, and I call it the relational part of the body. And now a lot of times it's termed spiritual, and, and that is true, but it's our relationship to spirit. It's our relationship to ourselves and it's a relationship to all our relations, all of the beingness, all the sentient beings of the world, the world itself, the earth. It's our relationship of how we care individually with Mother Earth. Um, you know, if I'm outside eating my lunch and I'm by myself or whatever and there's a, 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 a crow or something, I'll throw a little piece of something. I'll share. If there's an ant on the ground, I'll share. It's, it is a little bit crazy, but you know, that's my, that's my cray cray and that's where I live and that's what I love. So, um, and that's okay. But uh, I invite you to join my cray cray. Uh, so, and then in within that, um, now let's bring in this, these vortexes because those vortexes are all amongst, they're in the physical, they're in the mental, they're in the emotional, they're in the relational. So that th those are these vortexes. So, and on those vortexes, it's like I said, we've got the different little rungs. We've got the rungs for, um, we've got the rungs for, we talked about boredom and, and frustration on the, on, the, on the down rung and worry and discouragement and revenge and jealousy and blame and anger and hatred and insecurity and unworthiness unworthiness yeah yeah i think that there's not too many people that aren't touched by unworthiness um and then we've got on on uh, on this side we've got you know contentment and hope and um optimism and positive expectation and belief and enthusiasm and passion and my favorite joy knowledge empowerment freedom love appreciation and bliss yes bliss so if we're going to spend any length of time here let's do it in bliss so there's my morning piece and now let's work on going into the outro and um and I brought it in yesterday, uh, yesterday, two days ago, the emotional piece with the full moon because I love working with the planets as well. That's another point of leaning into our strengths. And the full moon offers us um, that super full moon that we experienced. I, don't, oh, I hope you got to see it. I got to see it again this morning because it sort of, the moon rises in the east where I am and on a clear morning when I get up early and I pull up my blind on the west it's like ah oh, there was the moon greeting me again as it was it was going to to rest in the west so it was glorious I had another moment to went outside I stood outside and I took in the moon in this beautiful morning sky and um, and I let go and I spoke to the moon and I said, take with it, take with it this lack and this insecurity. Um, you know, how I, I'm no different. You know, I've got a mortgage that needs to be paid April 17th. And I'm, uh, it took me a lot to write a letter to, uh, to the financers to say, you know, uh, what's, what's your offer? And, um, and to give, I, I'm, I'm not usually one that hovers in that lack and that insecurity, I always 
uh, try to be present and do my best to look at the abundance that I have as um, um, a privileged person that, that lives in, in a privileged country of Canada and, um, and always find the abundance around me. Um, but there was a bit of fear, you know, there was a bit of fear going, you know, this is my family home. And as a yogi, I try to work from a non-attachment. So it was great awareness, the attachment that I have, but it's, it's my shelter, but it could be any shelter, you know, the same joy and bliss can be found anywhere. It doesn't have to be in um, my present place of 28 years. I've lived here creating this loving foundation for life. So, uh, so I gave it up to the moon and, uh, um, I gave up a lot of things to the moon actually this morning. So uh, it doesn't have to be a full moon. Let go. Let's whew, breathe it out. Let's uh, let it water out. Let's, let's digest it. Um, and that's why we want to ensure that our organs and everything are, are optimum because they're all part of the detoxification where we ground into the earth. So let's do that now. Let's put, have our feet on the floor, have, acknowledge and feel our, our sit bones in uh, on the bottom of our buttocks and, um, and uh, take a nice deep breath into the lower abdomen and inhale, allow that abdomen to expand up. See if you can get it right into your side ribs. It's not always easy, do it gently, nothing forced and then expand out just a little longer. Let's try to make that breath as smooth as we can on the in inhale and then no pause, just right into the natural exhale. Ah, let's do a clearing breath. That's a lot of information I just gave you again on repeat. Please, if you have any questions, direct message me. Also, I invite you to, to like and share. This is an exchange of energy, um, and I'm so happy to be here. If I had a, if Facebook would let me have a donation button, I'd have a donation button. I can't. So the form of exchange and energy here is that if you like what you see, if you're getting value what you see, share it. Because this world so needs it. Feel your feet on the floor. Ah. It's my great great grandmother's hanky. I'm so happy to have it. <laughs> now let's draw up those etheric feet, that fine line, that line that's going straight down into the middle of the earth or our tree roots. Use your imagination. The body, the mind does not know any different from imagination to reality. Whatever it is, it is real. It's our reality in this moment. Drop, drop, drop. Mm. Feel go through the crust of the earth and into the rock and slate. And now call on all your sensories. Call on, you know, what does it feel like? Is it is it cool? Is it warm? Is it sharp? Is it grated? Is it is it flat and, and like slate? Is it slippery? going down 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 allow that just to go down come up with your word your grounding drop down into the liquid the molten liquid allow that to float through 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 all the way to the center core of the earth as we sh showed on previous replays that center powerful core and wrap your etheric feet or wrap your tree roots around that and allow the mother earth's energy to come up that beautiful line that we've created you've created coming up the same way that it went down to the full flat of the foot and allow it to enter into that full flat of the foot and into the ankles and the calves see if you can feel anything different in that part of the body and welcome it in gratitude and giving the body permission to accept and receive and to heal. Allow it to come into the knees, those beautiful joints, and into the thighs and into the hips, and into that grounded portion of our body, that first chakra. It's that blacked tourmaline stone, you know, that keeps us grounded. 
and bring it into that watery emotional area, that lower abdomen and up into the full abdomen area, up into the heart and the lungs and allow the heart to open and the lungs to expand and into the shoulders and allow them to take the weight of the world off our shoulders and down into our arms and into our hands. See if you can feel it in your hands. Is it tingly? Did you are your fingertips cool? Are they warm? Bring it up into the neck so that we have that power to speak from our heart and we speak with love and bring it into the head so we can stay on that awareness, that's, that knowingness, this Mother Earth beautiful energy. See if you can see the color. Mm, can you taste it? Can you smell it? Does it have what sensory? What is your strongest sensory point today? And allow this Mother Earth energy to just flow on the outside of the body, down the body, and back into Mother Earth. Let's sit with this energy for a moment and feel it. Feel the safetyness of it. Feel the groundedness. Mm. This is the place we want to walk from. This is the place that engages our and parasympathetic nervous system. It gives us clarity of mind and truth and knowingness and safety, security. It allows our breath to slow. This resonance of the earth, this is our healing resonance. Please, 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 I invite you to take your socks and shoes off and put your feet in the land. Feel this rhythm. And if you can do it with the sun, oh my goodness, and the, the, the vitamins from the sun and the, the oxygenation, oxygenation of our deep diaphragmatic breath, it's, it simply is that moment of bliss for all cells, all spaces between ourselves. It is that point of bliss for ourselves. That gloriousness of, um, of this present moment. Now let's center with this groundedness. We can move our body a little forward, a little back, a little sideways. The body will center itself. Allow that and know that the spine is the keeper of our nervous system. And with gratitude, let's center into this and create that fine line, that hara line from the bottom, from the center of the earth into the perineum, the bottom of the body, through that spine, follow that central shashumna area, if you will, up in through the, the, the head and out the top of the crown. Now take this fine line to divine, source, creator, higher self, whatever your word is, Father Sky, the, the area of so many names, and all names are yours. They're okay. It does not matter. This is your sacred practice. This is your time. Up into the sky, past the stars, into the solar field, into the galaxies and the cosmos, and connect straight, direct. Don't get wonky up there. Straight, fine line, direct to divine. Ah. And allow this gold and white energy from divine, or whatever color is coming up for you today, call on your sensories and bring it into the top. You can tap on the top of your crown. Allow this gold and white healing energy to enter the head, the full head, all the spaces in the head, and into the neck and the throat all those beautiful areas, cells, into the shoulders, down the arms, into the hands. Allow this golden white light to come into the lungs. Take a nice deep breath and experience it filling the whole cavity, the whole portion, the front, the back, the sides, the heart. Breathing divine, creator, source, higher self into the heart and blending that with the Mother Earth energy. And see if you can feel the swirl of the golden white light with the red energy of Mother Earth. Imagine it. Bring it into the full torso and into the hips and allow it to come into the legs and the knees and the calves and the ankles and the feet co-joining with Mother Earth. Mm. Let's take a minute here to feel those two energies and 
really know, know within you that these two energies are always here and we can call on them at any time, but they're always here. It's a matter of just tapping into the resource of this dynamic rhythm that is constantly a part of us and tapping into the strength of it, the knowingness and the healing properties of the divine energy, the golden white light energy, and the groundedness of Mother Earth. Check in with your feet right now. What do they feel like? Can you imagine trying to lift them up? Mine feel like they're pretty stuck. Hmm. Now let's take this into our outro, our mantra meditation. A nice thing to do with the hands is simply cup your left hand and cup your right hand on top and bring your thumbs together. Use this as a point of concentration in a long meditation. It's said that if our thumbs come apart, we've, we've lost our, our concentration. So let's connect again with a deep diaphragmatic breath, just in case to make sure that we haven't completely lost it in our grounding, centering and aligning. Exhale, expand the lower abdomen and the side ribs and the exhale, we'll start from the side ribs and then flatten, naturally flatten the abdominal area. I'll count, so the new, anyone new watching, this is the deep diaphragmatic breath into the lower abdomen. This is where we started. Sometimes it takes some while to get there, a few days for however long it takes. Second point, third. So we're breathing up, side, side, exhaling, side and down. This massages all the organs. Inhaling on the so. Allowing the belly to expand and then exhaling on the face hum. Now we aim to do this through the nasal passage. That may take some time as well. Inhaling through the nose, both nostrils. There's a fun fact that the nostrils change sides about every hour and 20 minutes. That is very rare. There's on the occasions when both nostrils are operating at the same time. They probably would be now after the grounding and centering and aligning. I've studied the Swara Yoga, which is the the um, changing of the nostrils, the alternating resonance and breath of the nostrils. Stay here for about two or three minutes. You're free to go whenever it works for you to go. Stay longer if it works for you to stay longer. I'll close with the namaste and the bells. If you find value with this, please share. That's the exchange and energy as that's your action. We're flattening the curve of the sympathetic nervous system. And as we're working to flatten curves, let's include this one. It's said that we live 70% of our life in the sympathetic zone. 
Our aim is the parasympathetic nervous system. Please watch the valuable replays. Skip to the parts that have meaning to you, whatever that is for that day. Direct message me. I hope one day that we can all be together in a urban immersion for those that are local or relatively close. Have a beautiful wellness sanctuary. It's on Airbnb, not at the moment, but that's available for those that want to come in. And in person treatments, distance healing. Working with limiting beliefs can be done easily over Skype or the phone. So thank you for sitting with me. The offering from our love card today. I love these love cards. Um, actually, they can be found at www.heart.ca. I had to look it up. A lovely older couple that put together these love cards. They're available. Our card today is You are a natural healer. Yes, you are. We all are. And that's why my expression self healing, cellular health, nervous system health, self healing, this is all part of it. We are all natural healers. It's just knowing that and stepping into that awareness. Awareness is consciousness. We don't walk around saying, oh, well, well some, some say I'm you know, working towards a higher consciousness. I'm working towards a higher awareness. And we don't walk around saying, I am working on my ecological, sustainable, and biological boundaries and empowerment. We're, oh, I'm working on my footprint. We can. But in order to draw people into us, we might want to work with the smaller, more lay words, the terms, trending terms at this time. You are a natural healer. Lean into that today. Share what you've learned so far here with us vibing for you, working with our vibration. Lean into it. It needs more people embracing the fact that we are natural healers. We are self-healers. Viruses are everywhere. Bacteria is everywhere. We are an organism. Organisms live off our dead skin. They're everywhere. 
and they're part of our strengthening our immune system. Our immune system is strengthened with that deep diaphragmatic, full, complete breathing. Our immune system is affected by our parasympathetic nervous system. Our nervous system, our immunity is strengthened when we walk in love and not fear. This is, this is the medicine. This is our self-power, empowerment. We will walk taller. We will walk brighter. Each cell will emit a different energy. We will look like light. We are light. And when I look at you and say, I love you, I do love you because we are one. And in order for me to love me, that means I love you. Get it? Yeah. So lean in. Tell someone today that you love them. Promise? And I'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day.